Malaria is a serious and sometimes fatal disease caused by a parasite that commonly infects a certain type of mosquito which feeds on humans. People who get malaria are typically very sick with high fevers, shaking chills, and flu-like illness. Human malaria likely originated in Africa and co-evolved with its hosts and mosquitoes. Malaria protozoa are diversified into primate, rodent, bird, and reptile host lineages. Malaria is caused by the plasmodium parasite. The parasite can be spread to humans through the bites of infected mosquitoes. Its prevention and treatment have been targeted in science and medicine for hundreds of years. Since the discovery of the plasmodium parasites which cause it, research attention has focused on their biology, as well as that of the mosquitoes which transmit the parasites. For thousands of years, traditional herbal remedies have been used to treat malaria. The first effective treatment for malaria came from the bark of the cinchona tree, which contains quinine. The mechanism of action is interference with the parasite's ability to digest hemoglobin. Because it is a weak base, it is concentrated in the food vacuoles of Plasmodium falciparum. It is thought to act by inhibiting heme polymerase, thereby allowing accumulation of its cytotoxic substrate, heme. As a schizonticidal drug, it is less effective and more toxic than chloroquine. However, it has a special place in the management of severe falciparum malaria in areas with known resistance to chloroquine. Quinine and quinidine also inhibit the spontaneous formation of beta hamadin which is a hemozoan or malaria pigment. It is very toxic product of the digestion of hemoglobin by parasites. As of 2006, quinine is no longer recommended by the World Health Organization, WHO, as a first-line treatment for malaria. Because there are other substances that are equally effective with fewer side effects. They recommend that it be used only when artemisinins are not available. Quinine is also used to treat lupus and arthritis. All quinine salts may be given orally or intravenously. Quinine gluconate may also be given intramuscularly or rectally. The main problem with the rectal root is that the dose can be expelled before it is completely absorbed. In practice, this is corrected by giving a further half dose. No injectable preparation of quinine is licensed in the US, quinidine is used instead.